one of the few opportunities we've had to just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy the ship. We're just sailing up the Danube here this morning. We don't have any excursions until about 2.15 this afternoon. So for like the next five hours is just sailing and enjoying the sights of the river. And I'm choosing to start it here on my deck. So we're just coming into a lock now. Not Loch Ness, different kind of lock. And we have to go up, what is it, 60? 62 feet. 62 feet we're about to raise the ship up to continue up the Danube. So we're just going to kind of sit here and enjoy it from the comfort of our balcony. This lock is actually quite large, so there's a lot of room between the side of the ship and the lock wall. Uh, some of them that we will go through will be much closer and you would actually be able to reach out and touch the wall uh, because there's just that little space in there. Of course, they've told us not to do that, so we always obey the rules. We've just come to a stop now. They haven't closed the lock doors behind us yet. Here's where you need the guy who operates on the Chicago L's to be like, doors closing. And you can see we're starting to get lifted. If you watch the rung of that ladder, whoops, if you watch the rung of that ladder, you'll see how the water's just slightly below it right now. And there, now the water is consistently up above it. And we're approaching the next one. And now it's underwater. We're approaching another one. Now it's underwater. And these must be, I don't know if these are some sort of counterweights that help run the gates, but you can see those are going up with the water level as well. Quite the engineering process. you look down there now and the gates are open and we're ready to continue to sail out. 